Hey, we're going to go to math.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to something here. Multiplying and dividing. That's what we're doing. And we're looking at 7.1. Okay, so let's get this written down here. x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x squared minus 15x plus 26. Alright. We got that. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Alright. Divided by x squared minus 15x plus 26. Now, by the order of operations, I need to put parentheses around both of these here. If not, you're going to get 4 divided by x squared. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we do that. However, we're now going to rewrite it. x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x squared minus 15x plus 26. Okay. And, uh, alright, so let's try factoring the numerator and factoring the denominator and seeing what cancels out. So two numbers multiply together gives us a 4, and when we add them, we get negative 4. What about a minus 2 and a minus 2 there? Alright. So two numbers multiply together gives us positive 26. When we add them, we get negative 15. Therefore, both these numbers must be a negative. Okay, they've got to both be negative. And uh, when we look at 26, right, these are some numbers we got to look at. 1 and 26, we know that we add 1 and 26, we're definitely not going to get a 15. And then there's 2 and uh, 13. Okay, and so that's going to be, looks like the situation, because 13 and 2 is 15. All right, we'll put a 2 here and a 13 there. All right. So now we've got an x minus 2 in the numerator, 1 in the denominator. We can cancel those out and so it looks like we're going to be left with an x minus 2 over an x minus 13. x minus 13. Okay. x minus 2 over an x minus 13. There you go. Alright, so we're over here at gotomat.com. See you in the next problem.